Okay, guys, so we are here on his farm and he's about to show us the albino rats and the rabbits and his mice. So, these are mice, actually. Wow. And this is a mice. Yeah, you can see. Wow. Can you see the mice? Is it pregnant? guys welcome back to my channel guys if this is your first time watching this channel please do not forget to hit that bell icon subscribe so that you'll be the first to know each time i drop a new video so guys on today's video i have with me one of the best businessmen that we have in university of nigeria on Suka, and he goes by the name adebusoe adebayo and he'll be telling us how he made his first 500,000 naira, even as a student in this school so mr adebayo can you tell us a bit about yourself yes Yes, my name is Adubse Adubayo Alessandra. Yes, I'm a veterinary student, University of Nigeria in Suka. Okay, yeah. what level? Fondo level. Fondo level. Okay, so, so what type of business do you do? Yeah, the kind of business I do is I breed albino rats, rabbit and mice. Wow. Yeah. Albino rats, rabbit and mice. So, yes, sir. So how so how were you able to start this business? I was able to start this business with my last card. Like, I was broke during that time. I was willing to start any okay. business that come up. I started with 5,200. Yeah, 5,200 because that is the last card. That is the last amount I have okay. in my account. Okay. And that was all. So, so 5,200 was able to get you how, how many routes and how many? Yeah, 5,200 was able to get me five female albino rats yes and one male why i was willing to start the board the person that introduced me to it was telling me that any amount i have that is not going to borrow me any money that i should start with the amount so i have yes yeah start with what i have so that i can able to be serious yeah with it and that's five female one male okay so uh, you so you started with the with the, with the rats and the mice before you went into the rabbits no no not actually just because i started with the i have a habit like i have one female habit before it does like i just use it as pet okay but when i now got a farm and i started with the abino rat okay yes and my okay so of all businesses why did you choose to go into farming you know people think that farming is something that doesn't bring money and it is not it, like it's not profitable so of all businesses why did you choose to go into farming yeah i went into farming just because i have a little bit money of it and there is not much tricks in the in farming once you've already like understood what and what to do or how to produce how to rear and how to feed them that's the major thing once you can know that it will be very easy for you to start a farming business Okay. One issue that students have is they find it difficult to raise capital to start their business. So how were you able to raise the capital to start your business? Yes, yes. And I've said earlier that I used my last card in my bank to start the business because I wanted to even borrow money to start big. But the person that is introducing me to the farm, that introduced me to the farm said I should start with any amount I have. And oh. I started with five female and one male. Oh. So how much did it cost you? It cost me a total of 5200 because I also bought feed. I bought one pinter of feed to start with. So how, so this business, how profitable is it? Like how much money can you make? How profitable is it? Yeah, how profitable the business is just like times two. Or like, the, what, it depends on the production. Like how many the female give birth to. Like some, like example, that business now do give birth to six, seven, eight, nine offspring that means if like now my rabbit give it to nine that means i have more profit than a rabbit that will give it to four or three so how much can you sell a mature rabbit or, yeah. or a mature albino rat a mature rabbit for example is you can sell as five thousand and it depends Just on one. the year one oh. yeah it depends on the species and the number of weeks but if it's a mature rabbit, five thousand and above. Oh, so, so how much how much does it cost to start a young to buy a young abinorat? A young abinorat is still the same amount, which is 
500 naira or okay. 600 naira. Mm-hmm. Which what, the young one you're talking about is winners. We call it winners. Okay, okay. Yeah. But if you're buying grower, okay. it's within that region. Okay, guys, so we are here on his farm and he's about to show us these abino rats and the rabbits and his mice. So, this is mice. These are mice, actually. Wow. And this is a mice. Yeah, you can see. Wow. Can you see the mice? Is it pregnant? No, it's not pregnant. It's sucking. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah, and these are the offspring. You can, you can see wow. the offspring. You can see how wow. many they are. Wow. They are like more than 10. Jesus. 10 offspring. Wow. With two mothers. Wow. Yes. And these are rats. These oh. are rats. This male and female for mating. This Why are you so I big like this? For mating. No, it's just because these are maturity stage. Okay, they are more okay. than four months, okay. three months, three, three months plus. Wow. These are also mice. These are also mice. Wow. With their offspring, they are sucking. Wow. Sucking, you can see. And the same thing too. But if we should move to rats, this uh, this this rat, this abinora, this is what they call abinora. Okay, so yeah. what, um, what's the difference between the mice and the Yeah, rats? the difference between abinora and mice is just the size. They have the same color, which are white, and the same color of, of eyes. <laughs> and these are the offspring. Wow. These the babies, they have, they, they've not opened their eyes. Okay. Yeah. It's when they open their eyes, that's the time you can ask say you want to win them from their mother, like you want to remove them from their mother. Put it on the way. Yeah, you can't run the way, you can't run the way. They are just... Why are you holding the tail like that? <laughs> okay, so let's move over to the rabbits. Yeah, rabbits. So where is the rabbit? Yeah, this... I can see one there. Yeah, one is there. This is the rabbit. Oh! A female rabbit is called though, but she's pregnant. Wow. You can see she's pregnant and <laughs> very very friendly. Wow, very friendly. This is a so how old, is, how old is how old is this a year plus? Wow. A year plus because it's at last year I bought it. Wow. Yeah. So do you have any other one? Yeah, there's there's other ones. There's other ones. Yeah, this is the male. Oh my god. Yeah, the one I brought before. Is the mother. Okay, the mother gave birth. To okay, this one. eight of this. Wow, eight of this, and others are sold. This one left wow. for the next generation. Wow. Yeah. Which other? Okay. How long have you been into this business? Yeah, this year will be my second year. Wow. Yeah, this year will be yeah, it will be my like two years now. Two years. Less than two years. So, between this period of those two years, what are those challenges that you? Please. My major challenge is ability to be waking up early in the morning to feed them before I go for lecture as a student. I know how pretty I may see. <laughs> how pretty I may see this. Very yeah. tedious. I have to like wake up early around 4 or 5 to feed the animals so that I can be to go for lecture. Wow. Okay, so which, which one is this one? Yeah, these are the winners the one i win these are been all right okay. all this one now are ready for sale for sale like this yeah they are wow. ready for how sale. many years they have many here can you see wow yeah man they're ready for sale this is where i keep i i kept winners wow so anytime they come i can able to so sell. this this one is about to to yeah this one now they are three weeks <laughs> plus you can see this one. Oh. three weeks this is the method of retraining you retrain yeah. them to their the day wow. yeah to that time i can hold it like this Okay, you are a best student, right? So, how do you balance this business with your school? Yes, I balance this business with my school. I wake up early in the morning, like around 4 o'clock, 4 30, 5, to go to the farm and feed them and rush back to my lodge, dress up for lecture. That's the way I'm, and that's the way I, I, I do, like. Every, every time, time, every day, every wow. day. Every so you know when to, you know, when to wake up, when to feed your animals, yeah, yeah. when to attend lectures. Yeah, yeah. And, wake up. and sometimes I, I, I do like I went there in the night also. Okay. To just to check, check on them okay. and go back. So, from the point at which you buy the animals to the point at which it is ready to to, um, to be sold, like how long does it take? Yes, you can start. Assuming you can start with. Winners, winners of four weeks or three weeks. 
Yes, it will take time for them to mature. And during the time of maturity, you need to like feed them well. And once they reach that maturity stage, out of two and a half months or three months, then they begin to give birth. Yeah, they begin to give birth, and they give birth in number of above seven pups, like seven pups, which is seven to eleven years now. So in the space of three months, you can start this business, and in the next three months. You are ready to sell and make profit. Yeah, you gain. Yeah, yeah, you will get more profit. Okay. Yeah. So, so how do you get your clients? Like those people who buy the Abino rats and you know those people who buy the rabbit. Like how do, how do you source for clients? Yeah, I didn't really source for clients because there's someone that introduced me to it. Okay. And mostly, most lecturers which are doing their master degree and PhD degree, they do buy. Like I have to like introduce myself to them. That oh I'm your student star, I'm your student ma. This is what I keep, this is what I read, this is what I bring. And they are very happy and they said they will surely patronize me. And also we do we be. Like there's also connection to different schools like Unisic, Isut wow. and other private universities. And that what make the business keep going. So it's those people who are using these animals for research that you sell to. Yeah, and also for final year. When I hear people that are in final year, like MCB, biology, microbiology, birds, zoology, animal cells, and co, they do use animals for their final year project. So, so are you open to investors? Like those who want to invest in this business, are you at this point? Are you open to investors? Um, I, I can't say for now. I'm not really open to investors just because I prefer to like put my money in a business that. At the end of everything, any money that is coming into my account, I will know that it's for me. Like I'm, I won't share the money to anybody that invested. I will know that oh, I'm putting this money to it, and the money that will enter inside is for me. Everything is for me. But in the future, like there are, pos- there are possibilities of you being open to. Uh, yes, there will be possibility because I won't be the one managing the farm. I will have like employ like two or four people there, whereby any money, anybody that want to invest in the future can invest and surely it will move away. The person will surely get. Okay, so are you open to mentoring other young students in school that want to, you know, go into farming and all? So are you open to that? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. I don't keep knowledge for myself. Like I share knowledge and I'm open up to people. Anybody that is willing to start up is I can open up to the person. I will have to write that the person. Okay, so guys, I'm going to drop his WhatsApp number below. If you're interested in starting this kind of business, you can reach out to him and ask your questions and he will definitely answer you. What advice do you have for students who are who want to you know, start something or start a business like this? Like, What advice do you have for them? Yeah, the advice I can say is just because must, number one, you must have time and passion. And the passion will surely lead to you having the money because Anything that is bringing out money, you must have passion for it. Like, oh, this thing is bringing me money. Let me be able to like be disciplined, be focused to this thing so that you can be able to help me. And also, I've said about time. Time to social time. So, from your point of view, is it possible for a student to start a business and make money by himself? Yes, you can start a business anytime. The major thing is just have a little amount. It doesn't cost more, just start with it. You can start with the number I started with, like five in me, one me. So at the end of three months, four months, you'll be cashing out. Right. So are you, do you have plans to expand the business? Maybe to start rearing pigs or start rearing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's plan for that. There's plan for that. And actually, I'm actually on, on the project. Yeah, I'm actually on the project, but by God's grace. They are extending the farm before someone before I graduate. Right. So yeah. thank you so much for coming to this interview, guys. Mm-hmm. If you loved it and you enjoyed watching this video, kindly subscribe, like this video, and share to someone that will need it. If you're interested in starting this kind of business, I'm going to drop his WhatsApp number below. You can reach out to him, and I'm very sure that he'll be there to guide you and put you through on how you can start and grow this business. So guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah, thank you very much. If you want to purchase any of these animals, you can reach out to him. I will drop his WhatsApp number below. You can reach out to him and you can purchase as much as you want. If you have particles and project, just reach out to him and you get one.
Guys, this is very much. Alright. So thank you for coming. 